Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Burns number BB30-629. Uh, I'm not sure why there's a finish with this. 5 16 18, 2 and 3 8 cone head machine screw. Again, polished stainless. There would be no finish on this bolt head at all. Uh, completely concealed, in fact. So what this is, is a replacement cone head bolt. So you'll clearly have a pair of poles or a pull and a push that are mounted back to back. This would be at the common end. The common end is the, you know, ends that bolt to each other. The free ends would be the other end of the pull handle and the other end of the push bar. And this is um, a replacement bolt. Very typical, very common uh, to sell replacement bolts. Extremely common. Um, we stock hundreds and hundreds of replacement bolts because it's so common. They say two and three eighths. The length from the underside of the head to the end of the threaded portion, that's two and three eighths. That would be a typical length for an inch and three quarter thick door. The overall length looks like it's about three and, pardon me, about two and 15 sixteenths. Um, the portion, let's get a little more detailed. The underside of the shoulder to the bottom of the bolt area that appears to be 0 .564, 0 .564. The dimension from the top of the shoulder to where the cone starts, I can gauge that here, looks like it's about 0 .2 inch, right on the nose, the flat area. And then the outside diameter of the cone head looks like it's about 0 .499, 0 .499 replacement bolt. Let's switch to the screen view now and let's take a closer look at some supporting information. Actually before we do that, just to be sure that it's 5 16 18, I have a 5 16 18 uh, tap here, uh, pardon me, a die. Yeah, that thread's on just fine. So that's definitely 5 16 18. Okay. Um, you know, it's hard to look at these and know what it is. Uh, I like to be sure of what we're dealing with. Now let's switch to the screen view. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here is the item that we are looking at, and we have some images posted down below, and here they are. There's the bolt, side view, the head of the bolt, obviously What's going to happen is all of this is going to is going to project from the face of the door on the interior side. Let's do this. So here is your door. That's your door. Obviously your pull handle. You know, it's going to sit something like this. Whoop. That's going to come back here. Okay. This is then going to have a hole drilled in it where you'll have a set screw that will fit inside of here and it will rest into this area and hold that uh, inner pull handle. Okay, to the cone bolt. That's how that's going to work. <clears throat> okay. Um, okay, so extended description information down below. Not much to see. Priced as each. If you order one, we'll ship you one. 5 16 18, 2 and 3 8. Now there is a link here below this video to the manufacturer's page. And when you click on that, you pull up all of the Burns items that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation here. You'll also get a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the product catalog. Now the product catalog is likely not going to have uh, anything in it when it comes to these bolts. That's probably going to be out of the price list. But as you scroll through you're going to get to the push and pull section push bars, push and pull bar sets, this is the product line that these bolts are going to be used in, namely, you know, packages like this. 
Now there may be a reference, and there likely is a reference in the price list. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at that price list. Yeah, so yeah, they have it. They they have items here. So the BB30 is listed here. And in this uh, document, you'll have lots of descriptions of different bolts and lengths. And by the time you're seeing this video, we will very likely have um, a table, additional information linked to down below. Um, you can see that they have a 5 16 by inch and a quarter. That would be for half inch glass. Then you can see that they have a three and a quarter inch length. You know, clearly that's going to be for doors that are, you know, up to, you know, two and three quarter inch thick, um, you know, for sure. Uh, obviously, I, I would imagine, perhaps not obviously, but I would imagine that the factory is considering the, you know, potential that you're going to cut, trim these bolts down so as to accommodate. The rule of thumb that I use is the bolt from the underside of the shoulder to the end of the threaded area it should be a half of an inch longer than the thickness of the door. So be mindful. This violates that by an eighth of an inch, but obviously their rule is five eighths of an inch. Over here, inch and a quarter for half inch glass, that's three quarter inch, but you'll generally have a couple of small washers, rubber washers or plastic washers that are there. So still five eighths. So keep that in mind, and again, by the time you're seeing this video, this will likely be, um, the item will likely be enhanced with a table uh, that's here. Let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. If you are not familiar with burns, although you likely are if you're buying replacement bolts, uh, I would suggest that you take a look at their product catalog because you are without a doubt going to find a comprehensive offering of trim and auxiliary hardware along with uh, pull handles that are designs, custom designs that are unique to burns. You might find something there that you really like. Um, they are a company that is, uh, from what I understand, from what I gather, um, you know, multiple generation sort of affair. They are people who very much understand the process of manufacturing trim and auxiliary hardware, what the materials used for. They possess a expert working knowledge of the industry when it comes to trim and auxiliary hardware. They're not just order takers and order enter kind of folks. They can speak why things are used, why they're called, what they're called, manufacturing process, etc. So their expertise is something that I am uh, grateful for. If you have any questions on the Burns BB30, and these are sold as each, this client bought six, uh, or any other Burns product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.